All right, so now that we did our, our final tank simulation, right, we need to do our final flow meter simulation so that we have everything working accordingly. So that way, everything we have to do is fully simulated. And now all we, at, going back, all we have to do is do the, you know, finish programming. We can do the recipes. We can do all the, the actual drives and stuff of that nature. So um, when it comes down to it, we go to our uh, flow meters routine. And all we're going to do really is add a couple of different things. So uh, we already had the AV01 in here. We did that for the first initial simulation, right? So if you think about it, all we really need to do is come in here and add the uh, AV03. So AV03, uh, being that this is going to be tank one or the main batch tank, right? So flow meter one is for the main batch tank. And then we're going to have pump one. So this is where we go back and we go to our pump controls and we would get pump right here. So we just copy this and just take it right over here. And then we can just paste just like that. So real simple, real easy, but the, the thing to really understand here is what we're trying to do is simulate the flow meter, right? We're simulating the flow based upon the same sim basic principle of what we were doing with the simulation of the tank level. All we're doing is, is really saying batches on. We're going in, doing a timer as the free running timer is doing. We're going, we're making sure the valve is on, but all the valves in the line that needs to be actually simulated. And then we're having the pump in that line as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and indicate a flow. Now we don't have a flow, but down here, we just have the batch reset, right? So what we can do is actually come in and have a complete reset if we want to. So what we can do is come in here and, and add a uh, another bit. What we can do is do this. So we'll do batch complete and then as the batch is complete, we'll actually indicate another instance too. So we'll say this will be uh, flow meter reset request and we'll program that later but right now we'll just make the tag and we'll put that down here so that now we'll have we'll have the batch complete as an automatic bit and then we'll have this as an automatic bit as well but two different instances so we we have a more controlled environment when it comes to actually indicating when do we want to actually you know reset the the flows of the actual flow meter in the simulation right so we still have to add um, the second flow meter which has the if you look at the second flow we have AV04 and AV02 for the second flow meter so we'll go ahead and add that in there and all we're gonna do is come over here add the next instance of this and then also we're going to add the second pump so we'll call this AV04 and then we're going to come in here and add the second pump. So we'll just drag the first pump over here and just merely change the tag to the second pump. And th that's the good thing about having actual uh, tags named, you know, pretty close together as far as like pump one. And then you keep the same naming culture. All you have to do is merely just go in there and edit the tag structure just like that. And it would work, right? So that's the reasoning behind keeping things nice and organized right so when you think about when you're making your tags just think about kind of plan things out and that's the way you would kind of go about it right so when you think about it we don't have anything but uh the second uh we don't have any any kind of um tanks or, or we don't have any kind of uh a motor or anything of that nature when it comes to the caffeine tank so we're just going to have av05 so av05 is for the caffeine tank so we don't really have anything else for that so initially we have actually finished our simulation for the our actual flow meters now we don't have to do anything else for that now as far as testing you know we've already kind of have you know that we already kind of had the av01 in there and we did the same simulation testing over here for this stuff so i mean it would basically be repeating itself so what i would rather do instead of that i was actually kind of save you guys some time um, because i'm sure there's no question on how we're simulating by now you know, we're just basically running a free running timer and then having that timer indicating it off the done bit 
a one shot based upon if everything in that specific line is actually actually true right so if it is an actual one right so again when it comes down to it I just want to make sure that you are aware of the things we are simulating and the things we are programming so I want to make a little short quick video about this and we'll finish up and go ahead and go to the very next video